angle was y over r cosine was x over r okay all right I'm, I'm a, and tangent was uh, y over x and so on okay and you guys know the reciprocal relationships out of this okay so i'll let you figure that out so what i want to do is i want to do six trig functions okay that's what i want to do calculate the sine cosine tangent uh, cosecant secant and cotangent of that angle so my claim to you is that the radius of the circle r is one okay that's what i'm claiming okay and here's the reason why so r squared remember is going to be x squared plus y squared okay so that this gives me 144 over 169 plus 25 over 169 which gives me 169 over 169 which is equal to 1 so the radius is 1 okay radius is 1 which means that if you come here to this equation then you know that sine of that angle is going to be the y coordinate okay and the y coordinate is negative 5 over 13 and this makes sense because you know it's in the fourth quadrant and according to all students take calculus all students take calculus okay sine should be negative okay and cosine should be positive and cosine is from here x over r and x is 12 over 13 so it is indeed positive okay and then you guys can compute tangent theta okay all right actually let me do that tangent theta is going to be this over that so it's minus 5 over 13 over 12 over 13 which is equal to negative 5 over 12 okay all right a um, couple of more examples to do okay so here's this example so this is find the point x comma y on the unit circle that corresponds to the real number t um, here the implication is that t is an angle okay it's given to you like that sine pi over six and also because it's looking at uh, sine of t so what does this mean well you should be able to convert seven pi over six into degrees and you should see that seven pi over six is equal to 210 degrees which puts it out here so this is 210 degrees which means that the reference angle, that's your reference angle, is 30 degrees. Oops, my bad, this is totally wrong. 210 degrees is not in that quadrant. Let me um, raise this stuff out here. Okay. Okay. 210 degrees is out this way here. Okay. Uh, let me kind of offset. Okay, um, it's going to be somewhere out here, and this is 210 degrees. Okay, and my reference angle here is 30 degrees. So since sine of 210 is going to be equal to negative sine. 30 degrees and it's negative because this comes out from the fact that it is in this quadrant where only tangent is positive so sine's got to be negative and then from your friends table you know that sine 30 is a half again friends table comes to uh, uh, shows up again that's why it's called a friends table it's always there and you know that sine of an angle is always y over r and r is equal to one it's on a unit circle okay it tells you right there that's a unit circle okay and so y is equal to negative a half and kind of makes sense that it's in this quadrant y is going to be negative and then cosine 210 in q3 is going to be negative and it's going to be negative cosine 30 and once again your friend tells you that that's negative root 3 over 2 so your x y coordinates for that point are negative 1 half negative root 3 over 2 okay all right, uh, I think we are on to the last question here, this one here, okay?
So the last question is this one. And what it's saying is that I'm given cosine of t equals 4 over 5. I want to find this, OK? Uh, let's not worry about this one here for the time being. Let's just do this one, because that's all I did in the class, cosine uh, pi minus t. So let's take a look at it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up putting t in the first quadrant, OK? First quadrant. Uh, OK, come on. Come on, come on, come on. OK. So supposing if I put t in the first quadrant so that it's like this. Here's t. What I actually want is pi minus t right there. OK, right there. I want pi minus t. So this is how I get that. I'm going to go pi, OK, in a counterclockwise direction. And then I'm going to go minus t. Remember, minus sign is in the clockwise direction. So I'm going to go this way here. And so here is my angle. This is pi minus t, pi minus t, which makes the reference angle equal to t. So going into the way we calculate trig functions, OK, that are in the, in, in the other quadrants, I'm going to go cosine pi minus t. And since this is in the quadrant where the letter S tends and cosine is going to be negative, I've got this as negative cosine of t, which is negative 4 over 5. Okay? And so that's the last example of the day, and I'm done.